What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Austin awesome Show. Today we're looking at the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Gangster 2 Packs here from the Target Holothon. So of course Target Holothon is going on currently and we were able to pick up these two packs. So first we have Grunt and Jersey Red and then Tall Thug and Short Gangster. So all of these are part of the Bebop and Rock City game and some of them are mutated. So like the Tall Thug and Short Gangster have mutations as well as Grunt. Jersey Red doesn't but it is cool to have her as well. So it'll be cool to have the three figures and to do their mutations and show those off and then get Jersey Red the throne with the gang as well. So it's cool to just build out more of that Bebop and Rocksteady gang. So with these two packs, so I would just throw them here together since they all fit together and I'm excited to check them out. So let me get them open out of the box and we'll take a look at them together. So we'll start off with the Grant and Jersey Red 2 pack and we'll start off with Jersey Red since she doesn't mutate. But she's a member of Bebop and Rocksteady's gang under their leader Lugnut and she's just a large tough woman and doesn't get mutated at all throughout the series because she appears later on like I said under Lugnut so when he appears she's there with him so they don't get mutated. But looks pretty good so as I said she's a large and like tough muscular woman and she definitely looks like it so there's her face that I guess you could say only a mother would love so definitely a weird face. Her lips all pushed together of course her crazy eyebrows and stuff and it looks like she may have some makeup around her eyes and everything and then her red hair that ball like be poofed up but it's kind of flattened out to the sides so spread apart there that looks kind of crazy and of course her ears full of earrings there so she definitely looks tough she's got a black tank top on with studs all around so you can see the spiky studs there leather bands around her wrist and then just some blue jeans with some red cowboy boots or I guess they could be brown but they have like a red tint to them so she just looks crazy but cool at the same time and definitely a cool like gangster member to add to our collection and overall it's just a really nice looking figure now movement wise with her her head will twist all the way around and then she can look down that far and up that far so some movements back and forth the shoulders can come up of course their neck is so we've heated them up and loosened them but they're kind of tightening back up but can come up to 90 there and rotate all the way around she's got the single elbow joints that bend close to 90 and have the rotation in it and then the wrist that can twist all the way around and flex back and forth she has like an ab crunch and twist under her chest there so right under their shirt so she can crunch back and forth it's not the best movements but it does move back and forth and she can twist around a little side to side then we get our hips that can come up of course the big pants and her thick legs don't come up too much so we can come up maybe 45 there and out to the side a little we have a bit of a thigh twist up in there the single knee joint that bends back to pretty close to 90 once again don't really get too far back but back that far and it has rotation in it as well we have a shin twist down in the boot there and then the foot can flex back and forth and twist side to side so she's very limited on movements of course with most of the neck as they are limited but she at least works enough where she's easily to stand I thought you know with her being in the boots with the heels and stuff be hard to stand but she stands relatively easy so not many issues at all with her now accessory wise she comes with some additional hands and I hope I didn't get the hands mixed up I was kind of all confused with the pack so hopefully they're not too mixed up but with her we get some additional hands so she has some like fists on already so we get like up open hands like reaching out like gonna grab you type of hands so we have those which I guess are pretty cool and then we also have some more grip hands so we have a wide grip hand and then a hand that's almost like could be for a gun that we can put into her hand and of course with this wide grip we do also get a spray paint canister so we have that that we can squeeze in there so let's switch our hands out here so there I got the hand switch out and like I said gave her the spray paint can in there and for the other trigger hand we do also get this gun so one of the futuristic like alien guns that we see throughout the turtle series so just an all white gun with some red details and some gray bits as well so we have that that we can stick into this hand with the trigger finger so there's jersey red with the gun and just overall looks pretty cool with that gun and having the spray paint just looks really cool and definitely like gang stores and stuff to fit in here so very cool to have jersey red added to the collection and then we have Grunt, which is a member of Bebop and Rock Studies game that we see early on in the series. And he gets mutated into a lizard. So he looks cool here. A very tall, like skinny guy. Of course, he's got muscles and all that stuff. So musculature in there. But he's got nice mohawks, a nice yellow or blonde mohawk there. Some sunglasses on his face, which this side, unfortunately, like came undone. So his glasses are kind of like falling off there. But he has like this harness up here on his chest, which of course is loose and you kind of move around or whatever there. Band on his arm, bands on his wrist, belt around his waist with some pockets and some nice details black leather pants going down some knee pads and then black leather boots there as well so it looks very gangish and stuff very much like the 90s punk gang so very cool to have him here now moving wise we get that that can twist all the way around and he can look down that far and up that far so nice movements back and forth shoulders up that far at least as far as i can get it and then twist all the way around we have the single elbow joint that bends to 90 again with the rotation the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth we have the ab crunch right in there you can see the cutout so just under the harness 
so he can crunch back and forth and twist around there and then also twist around at the waist. Hips can come up to 90 and out to the side. He's got thigh twists then twist a little back and forth. A double knee joint that can bend up that far to the back. Shin twist down in the boot there and then the foot can flex back and forth and twist side to side. So pretty good movements once again for the figure. Accessory wise he comes with some additional hands so this may be where I've gotten stuff mixed up because I can't really tell. So we have a set of grip hands here just with some standard grips you know just some standard grips that go along with the fist. But then also in this pile I have another set of grip hands but this time they have some fingernails so I don't know if those belong to Jersey Red and also go along with her. The skin color and stuff tone wise seems to go more with him but since he already has a set of grip hands like these I don't understand why he now has one with nails unless that's just a part of his look like and sometimes he was pictured that or like I said are these just go with Jersey Red? Not exactly sure. So I don't know what these go to or it could be the other pack and I've just mixed them all up. Not exactly sure. So we just have the grip hands with the long fingernails as well. With the hands we can switch out to a grip to also give him a sword so he comes with a sword here which is pretty cool that we can give him so let's switch a hand out and put this in. So there I got the sword in his hand so there he actually has a weapon now as a part of the gang and as I mentioned he does mutate so he gets mutated into a lizard so we have a lizard piece that we can put on his body as well. We will do this but I just want to leave him in normal human mode for now because we'll get all the gangster members together and we'll have them in the human mode and then put them all in mutated mode as well but just has this cool lizard form as well so has this harness and stuff so you can definitely tell it's him as well as the mohawk and glasses but it's the lizard has this tongue hanging out of course claws on his hand and overall same outfit design and still I'm just this green lizard like creature now which is pretty cool and it has some movement so it's head like can move back and forth and twist a little side to side there of course the shoulders can move up what well, should be close to 90 and rotate around has the single elbow joint to 90 with the rotation and the wrist twist around and flex and then we do have like an ab crunch you can see the separation there of course without the body it's hard but it does move move around there and can twist and everything so we will switch that out later in the video but very cool just to have this upper section of grunt that we can switch out later on but that was it for the grunt and jersey red pack so we'll go ahead and move on to our next pack which was Tall Thug and Short Gangster. So we'll start with Tall Thug first, which I don't remember if it was in the show or from the comics stuff, but he also had the nickname of Dopey. And like the others, he was a member of Bebop and Rocksteady's gang, and he gets mutated into a shrew. And overall, he looks cool. So he has like this alpha, so has the hat. It reminds me like of a cop or something. So it has the hat on there with the brim and then the big puffy hat there just all in gray. And then he's got the gray jacket as well with some gold on it that kind of matches with the hat, some blue jeans into the tall leather black boots there. And then we have his face which is kind of hidden under the hat he's got a huge nose and earrings in his ear and just really tall and skinny and stuff but overall looks relatively good it's just another silly character that add into the game but moving wise we get the head that can twist all the way around and get look down that far and up that far so decent head movements shoulders can come up that far at least so just a little under 90 and should be able to rotate all the way around we get the double elbow joints so the joint at the top and the bottom section there so with both of those you can pretty much get them bent just about all the way up on itself so good movements there and then there is some twisting so it twists at the top and at the bottom then we get the wrist that can twist around and flex back and forth don't know what he's got going on under his jacket but he can crunch back and forth a little bit and twist around there the hips can come up close to 90 and out to the side of course a little thigh twist up in there the double knee joint that can bend up that far to the back shin twist down inside the boot and then the foot can flex back and forth a little and twist side to side so decent movements there and overall just has the long lanky body now accessory wise he comes with some additional hands so we get a set of grip hands to go along with the fist so just some standard like grip hands there and then we also get a grip to go along with one of the certain weapons so we got that and then for him he turns into the shrew so we get the additional body piece of that so we get an additional head which looking at it it looks very much like an elephant which I do know there's a thing called an elephant shrew but it definitely looks like an elephant like his nose grew so it has a line segment just like an elephant and then even has the little like cupping piece at the end of the nose just like an elephant so I feel more he's supposed to be an elephant of some sort but it's supposed to be a shrew and I know in like the comics or something he does look very much more shrewish like the you know the little rodent and everything but I don't know what the deal is with that and then he also has an enlarged hand so like he has that disease where the hands and stuff get really big and puffed up and everything so we have that that we can switch out as well so not exactly sure what the deal is going on to be shrew like about him but we do get those that will again switch out later in the video and then we can switch over to the short gangster and he in some media has 
had the name of Dumbo. And again, another member of the gang that gets mutated into a dog. At least that's how he labeled. But with his accessories, we'll kind of look at that as well. That doesn't seem to fit there too well. But looks pretty fun and cool. So he's a short little stocky guy. So pretty big and fat. Has a bald head there with a big fat face. He's got the leather vest on with just a gray t-shirt and some blue jeans on. With some black leather shoes there. And some bands around his wrist. And so he's much thicker and very short and everything. So he'll be fun to see him compared to the rest of the gang. But very cool looking figure. He's just fun for some reason for me. I really like this figure design. But for Moons get his head that can twist all the way around. Hard with the like leather vest there in the back. So you get caught. And then it can look up and down a little bit. The shoulders can come up to 90 and rotate all the way around. We get the single elbow joint that bends to 90 with rotation. Wrist can twist all the way around and flex back and forth. Again, can't really see what's up in there. But he can crunch back and forth a little and twist around side to side. His hips can come up a little and out to the side a little bit of a thigh twist the single knee joint back and should have some rotation in as well and then the foot can flex back and forth again very stiff and doesn't move too much but can move back and forth and twist side to side so definitely doesn't have the best movements out of all the figures but still just for his size and everything i think he moves pretty well now accessory wise he comes with some additional hands so we get some grip hands and of course we know it's his because he's got the big fat thick hands there so we get a set of grip hands that go along with the fist and then he has his mutation stuff like i said turns into the dog so we get the head form which I would say does look very doggish and stuff you know if I had to guess I'd say uh, yeah that could be a dog I like how it's got the open mouth a little with some teeth showing the nose and of course the dopey looking eyes and little tiny ears and the fur and all that stuff so definitely a good looking head for that and like I said could be a dog but then once we get to the hands or the arms whatever you would call it we get these it seems they should be more of a sloth because those are definitely sloth hands with the long fingernails and stuff and so I feel he definitely is a sloth and not a dog and once you see that you can kind of see more of a sloth like face in there of course it likes it still looks doggish but you could definitely see a sloth as well so again i think they have him labeled or created wrong and i don't remember seeing what he looked like in the comics so he may have been more slothish or more doggish since that's what he's supposed to be but yeah with this design they made him look kind of slothish and stuff but very cool to have it and again we'll mutate him later and now accessory wise for both we do get like weapons and stuff that can be used for either one so first off we have a chain so just the thin metal chain here that we can wrap around in their hands we get a big like mallet hammer so pretty fun and like very cartoonish and stuff to have a big mallet there we get a baseball bat so we have a baseball bat they can beat up on people and then we also get like this hook thing that is pretty crazy and seems like a strong weapon and stuff and this goes specifically for the one hand of the tall gangster so we can slide his hand you know get it around in there so let's go and put these weapons into their hands so there I gave like dopey the scythe and dumbo the baseball bat so just looks pretty funny there with both of them together especially the height difference between the short and tall and stuff just looks pretty crazy so now with having them though we can add all of our bebop and rocksteady game together again in the pre-mutated form so there's the bebop and rocksteady gang all before they're mutated and of course all but jersey red get mutated oh and we have scrag i forgot about him but i don't have his human parts so i can't throw him in here with this gang we'll throw him in with the mutated one but very cool to have more of the gangster members to throw in here with bebop and rocksteady in our pre-mutated form so very cool to have those but let's now mutate all the characters we can and put them all together so there we have the mutated version now of bebop and rocksteady's gang with of course bebop and rocksteady grunt dopey dumbo and now scrag in there as well so very cool to have more gangsters to add to our collection whether it be in the normal gangster mode or in the mutated mode as we have here but either way very cool to add them to into our collection now well that's gonna be it for our NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Holothon gangster figures where we got the two packs of Grunt and Jersey Red as well as Tall Thug and Short Gangster with their mutated form so very cool to add to them collection like I said I, I like having them in their normal like gangster human mode so we can have a big old collection there of them or we can put them in the mutated form to make them in the gang with Bebop and Rocksteady and stuff I still love it being able to add these into the collection so let me know what you thought of them down in the comments and if you enjoyed this review let me know the thumbs up but and thank you all for watching I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review.